Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a brand new game that's just hit early access in Tycoon. In this cozy and relaxing medieval management simulation, you'll get to build, design and manage your very own inn. From serving delicious meals to hiring the perfect staff, In Tycoon lets you create a top-notch hospitality empire. Whether you're a fan of strategy games or just looking for something chill to unwind with, this game has something for everyone. So grab your favourite drink, sit back and join me as we take a, our first look at In Tycoon. Let's see what it takes to become the ultimate innkeeper. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Let's get started! In name, Starlight Goblet. Let's just go with something boring because, you know, I can't, can't think of anything else. <laughs> um, Vicero in. Vicero in. Yeah, why not? Okay. Um, play. So build tavern room. Build a tavern room. So I have never opened this game before. This is the first time. So I don't have a clue what I'm doing. <laughs> but I guess we'll work it out together. So, tavern. Okay, so that's how we build a new room. So if we build a new room... Yeah. Okay, there we go. Build table. Table. Um... I mean, that seems like a good place as any. Even though it's only three chairs, at least it's right in the corner. Um, hire waitress. Hire waitress. Uh, where was that? Ah, that makes sense. Isn't it the top on you? Waitress, hire. Okay. Uh, build kitchen room. Reach level two, build kitchen room. Okay. Kitchen. Where's oh, level two? So a level day one. We have 400 reputation, 156 gold. Salary is costing us 35 gold a day. At the moment, we're not making very much money. The so wine price is six. Nine plus three, beer price six, nine plus three, pouring duration. So we can upgrade that so it's quicker by the looks of it. Okay, um, can we buy another table? I think we should buy another table. They are both served now by... So it's three stools at the bar, but it looks like it. Three chairs, three chairs. Here's the waitress. Okay, so when do we reach level two? Is this all derived from this? Nope. The so level one, the two... The second star is flashing, so I'm guessing that means we're sort of earning our way towards level two. Uh, place a counter. Place cauldron. Play a cook. Plus, after we build the kitchen room, I guess. Yeah, we're not quite there yet. Bedrooms, bath, game room, cellar. Nice, okay, so there's a couple of different things to the tavern. So we not only serve drinks, but we can also have people stay overnight as guests. And serve food. I mean, serving food is quite normal for a tavern, I guess, but... But then again, I suppose having people stay in rooms is too. <laughs> How close are we to level two? I don't see any sort of experience bar or anything. So we got in overall economy, customers, all happy so far. Um, greater speed up time, there is. A cook, bartender, we already got a bartender. Unlocks at level three, you can hire another one, I'm guessing. And can hire another waitress if we need to, though. Don't think we need to at this moment in time. She seems to be managing quite well. Oh, you can set work areas, that's cool. But at the moment, they're serving the whole in because it's not very busy. Um, Salary reduction. What's this? A bit, oh, level points. Are oh, we can upgrade the... um. Salary reduction. We would want to upgrade salary reduction, though. I mean, it'd be less for us to spend on them, but that seems a bit mean. We can upgrade movement speed and tip change. Good to know. That nickname, fire. 
stop camera following. Okay. When we get to level two. <laughs> Don't understand what salary reduction is. Do we really make them work for 10% less? Is that what that is? Oh, they have a, um, a radius in which they can serve. So if we start building out this way and then across there, this one bar should be able to serve them all for now. Oh, there's a hammer button there. What does that do? Demolish. Okay, we don't want to do that. Relocate. Okay. So I guess we just uh, fast forward a bit now until we reach level two. The name of the inn. Vice Inn. Yay, level two. I didn't take long, did it? The rewards, 300 gold, one staff member limit, and one level point. Ah, oh, so are the level points shared between all staff members? They are. Okay. Let's try boring speed then. While we're doing that, we're going to build a kitchen. We're going to build a kitchen. There seems as good a place as any. End of day one. Earnings 414 gold. Losses 345 gold. We made a total of 69 gold. Who's an event? New Year's Eve, three days. Drink price plus 30%. Customer sleep speed, 20%. Tax reduction, all salaries minus 30%. Wealthy patrons, tip chance plus 10%, tip amount plus 33%. And it's going to cost 350 reputation to make that happen, I'm guessing. Either that or that's the level requirement. Oh, and you can also turn gold into reputation points. Let's, uh, let's, 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 let's do this one. So our reputation points have gone down. That's how that works. Got it. Place counter. So counters might seem complex. Counters act as a transition point. Food and drinks are gathered here and then served to tables. When placing a counter, you will notice a circular area around it. Uh, food production stations within this area will gather here and the food will be distributed to the tables within this area. If a table is not within the area of the counter, customers at that table cannot be served because the menu will be empty. Similarly, if food production stations are not within the counter's area, they won't be included in the menu. And no food will be prepared there. If a connection is made with a counter, the circular area will disappear and you will see a connection line. You can see the menus by selecting the counter and tables. The bar and me dispenser objects are both counters and food production stations. It is sufficient to include only the tables. So I feel like this-ish? Can't place it, it needs to be within the kitchen, okay. We rotate it. Um, ah, right mouse button to rotate. It looks like it's just barely covering that table when it's in that orientation, so we'll go with that. And we need a cauldron. Put that in the corner. For that, duh, duh, duh. Um, So on the menu we have soup. We can upgrade that for gold, so soup price is seven. Uh, cooking duration six. Hire a cook. Oh, that would that would help, wouldn't it? Cook. Hiya. Ta da! Well, they seem happy. So that's serving that, which is then in turn serving that table and that table. Do we click that? Oh, we do click that. Okay. What's this? And he's cleaning. So we can do some actions ourselves then. Um. Cyprian, you, you're gonna work. You, you could work. You know, the cauldron's there. Unless nobody's ordered food yet and they're not cooking things in advance. Ends in three days. So, do we have to buy wine, beer, or any other things we serve, or does it just automatically sort of refill itself, I wonder? Meat dispenser. Mead is prepared here, it requires a waitress to operate. Tavern. That's a tavern room, isn't it? No, we don't want to do table. If we get another table in. More customers is better, right? And then so mead station. We put this rotated like that. So we do we now serve mead? We have wine, beer, and now mead. But the the mead isn't served by the bartender, it's served by a waitress. Unusual, but I'm not going to question it. 
for the meat price. We can upgrade that with 160 gold. We currently have 172, but we're not going to do that just yet. That costs a bit to upgrade, though. Maybe we put another table down. We can have, we're good for it. There we go. That table served by those three. That table served by the three. So all four tables currently. Oh, hang on. That's not included. It's out of range. That table can't currently. Oh, it can actually. Yeah. The line isn't on there. Not pointing to there, but they can still order soup. Fair enough. <laughs> What's the next part of the tutorial? Do we reach level three? What's that? Pie oven? Bread oven? Pig roaster? I suppose we could expand the tavern for 50 gold. There we go. Then we move that to maybe here. Then if we do that, that probably isn't going to cover... No, that doesn't cover that table. Okay, we won't do that. We'll, um... What if we put that like there? Yeah, that seems good. I don't know if we're in a position where we need to hire another waitress yet. How was our customers? They happy? Yep, all happy so far, so I'm guessing serving times and stuff are good. Come on, chef. Make that soup. So today we lost two hundred and sixty-five dollars, gold even dollars. <laughs> we can't afford any of these, so we're gonna skip it. I don't know if it was a good or a bad thing. The fact that we started the uh, this celebration for New Year's Eve, I think it was a good thing. Um, do you want to upgrade this soup? Nah, not for a minute. What happens if we upgrade this? And it doesn't tell you. What's our waitress's name? Aurora. That's a nice name. Our bartender is Kieran. And our cook is Cyprian. Yeah, that's a nice little tavern. Very lush greenery around our tavern. Mm. How are you doing, folks? You all enjoying your food and drinks? Oop, clean. Boop. Mm. Mm. Oh, hang on, we have an unhappy customer. Do we know why? We find out why. Three failures, waited too long to order. Oh, so does that mean we need another waitress? Let's hire another waitress. Yay! 200 gold, two staff limit, and two level points. So let's get one of our waitresses and we'll increase the movement speed. And we'll get our bartender and we'll increase... Oh, we can't increase his pouring speed. We increase Sheffy's chefing speed. There we go. Maybe we too easily just spent those points then. <laughs> bar. We can get another bar. Good to know. Um, we haven't unlocked... Oh, okay. So those uh, attribute point thingies are also used for unlocking... Ah, oh, I thought it was just level locked. It's not. It's um, They're locked behind there as well, so we got to spend two points to unlock one of those. Oops. Now we know. Let's get some more tables in. Need to recuperate some of our losses. <laughs> oh, we got some uh, tips on the tables. Be collected manually by us, but it seems right. Can upgrade the cauldron. I'm guessing th this. So yeah, the current price is seven. I'm guessing if we upgrade, it goes up to this. So it's increased by three to ten. That was kind of a self-explanatory, wasn't it? And then the cooking duration drops a bit. If we were to upgrade this, yeah, same thing. Okay, now we know. We're good at this, honest. We're good. I don't unlock any of those yet. That requires level nine. Basic rooms require level 4, so we're only a little bit away from level 4. 
I mean, that bar still covers all, all current tables, so it's fine. I wonder if upgrading the bar as well would increase the radius in which it can serve. Vice Row Inn. If any of you watching can think of a better name for the uh, the inn, please let me know, and we'll uh, sensible suggestions. We'll we'll change it. I mean, for the most part, people are happy visiting the inn, and we have an effect on the population. Apparently, don't know what that means. <laughs> Oops, somebody was sick. We just like nope. Um, so season is going to change from summer to blizzard. Oh, great. <laughs> um, we're not going to do any of these for a minute. Um, but what does this mean? So bath price plus 50%, steam bath price plus 50%, food price minus 30%, drink price minus 45%. Wow. Seems like we need to get to level four a bit quick so we can start getting uh, rooms and things unlocked. I was saying that. We need level 6 for the bath anyway. That doesn't help us immediately, does it? Oh, it's frosty. But oh, I got the sign moves in the wind as well. Nice little touch. Oh, clean that up. Now, surely people should be paying more for, like, hot food during this kind of weather. Let's upgrade that. The 252 gold. We could expand. Maybe add another tavern room. Put more tables in. It doesn't as though uh, it doesn't look as though you need to change or like ordering supplies and things. So that's that's automatic. Depends how much you like micromanaging games. Is that could be a good thing or a bad thing. We have to sort of balance um, stock and supply and demand and things. We like the music on this game, though. It's quite relaxing, isn't it? Nice tip on the table there, and a tip on the table there, and some mess on the floor. Thank you. We don't have any influence over prices of things either, by the seams of it. Got a few tips there. Nice. Must be doing something, right? Aurora the waitress is... something. I disappeared before I could read it. May have just said, like, waiting for customers or something. How far are we away from level... Th so the bar is level 1. Next level is level 2. That makes sense. So our level, which I imagine some of you have been shouting at the screen already at, is up here. <laughs> so we can see how many experience points we have, how close we are to the next level. This is kind of obvious now, isn't it? My bad. Apologies if you've been shouting at the screen. We, we got there in the end. <laughs> well, folks, leave some big tips for a good service. So we're only three experience points away from level four. I have only one experience point away from level four. Level four. We have three level points. So they're not for staff only. They are... Ah, there's a the progression thing as well. That's good. So bedroom we've now unlocked. Long tables, which we need to unlock with uh, those points. But I'm thinking we unlock a pie oven. Because who doesn't like a good pie? And it also means we can serve more then. More food. And it's blizzard. It's wintry. It's cold. Soup and pie. Yes. Soup and bread may have made more sense, but I'd prefer a pie over some bread. I don't know about you guys. Okay, so, 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 we can now make a bedroom. But where do we want to put said bedroom? Because can we have more than one floor? Don't know if that's a thing. Oh, end of day four. A small loss, but with no unhappy customers as such. Five somewhat satisfied customers, but mostly mostly okay. Um skip. So bedroom, 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 bedroom. Can't build it there. 
you have to place a room next to a tavern. But we did. <laughs> we did. I'm thinking we would expand out that way then, maybe, for the rooms. Because then we, at least we can keep the tavern, uh, like, tables and things within reach of the, the bar. If we put that... Ah. Did not think that would happen. The door's kind of in a bad place there, isn't it? Can we move the table? We can move the table, but we lose some seating. Okay. Leave that there for a second. We'll fix this. We build... There. Oh, that's cool. And then we move that over here. Still in range. Uh, can we still order food? We can. Good. Now we have a room. So in said room, we're going to need a bed, which we can't afford. 175. The bed costs more than the actual room. <laughs> so one more tribute point we can spend or we can save. I'm inclined to save it for a minute. We need to save up 175 gold. Just let the let's have it run itself for a moment. We are almost there. There we go. And then we can put a bed in the room. Um, let's put it. We put it in the corner. Like, put it this way. There's a cabinet that should be able to fix bits anyway. Really. Well, that requires level five and five level points. I'm guessing if somebody decides they're going to stay in this room now. Yeah, it's 19 gold. We can upgrade it for 350. I don't know if that makes the room physically bigger or just more appealing. What we could do um, is update the tip chance. Oh, there we go. We have one room at the inn, <laughs> at the tavern. We know that works now. But this room is worth 19 gold a night. And if it's upgraded to level two, it's worth 28 gold. So that's a, that's a decent improvement. But it doesn't look like there's a way to close the tavern. So that's not necessary by the seams of it. Just open all hours. What we may do though is, can we move the table where somebody sat on it? Would it upset them if we did? Don't know if that was a good or a bad thing. Did they disappear from existence? Where did they go? <laughs> I'm just thinking if we like move. Ah, uh, somebody sat there now. Okay, so when he, this guy moves, move the table out so we can get four on the table. Come on, my friend, we need you to move. Oh, hang on, what's that? We're we missing a staff member. We probably are, aren't we? Um. We are missing a housekeeper. Oh, we're 120 to hire a housekeeper. Okay. We can almost afford that. There we go. Now we can. <laughs> we should have waited until we could, like, buy a couple of rooms. Now, ideally, we need to move, like, this across a little bit. And then... Now, we want to create, like, a... Keep a clear walkway to the bar and the tables and stuff. But I'll leave this one where it is. I do want to move this one away from the wall, though. End of day five. Everybody's disappeared. We lost 458 gold. That's fine because we spent it on improving stuff. It's all good. Oh, so our costs have gone out now. We need to be a bit careful on the spending for a bit. So, uh, yeah. Our salaries. Oh, we got two waitresses there. I thought all our staff had quit then because they hadn't been paid or something. <laughs> Come on, customers. Come in from the cold. Vice Roll Inn has hot pies and soup to warm you right up. But no coffee. Sorry. What if coffee's a thing? Oh, the, the soup is popular. And somebody's ordered a nice pie. They're pretty hefty pies as well. Look at the size of that. Oh, so they bake a pie and then cut off slices. Right. Makes sense. And it's 200 gold to update the... Upgrade the, even the pizza pie oven. Why did I say pizza? It's not pizza. 
is pay. Thank you for the tip. Okay, who wanted the pie? Enjoy your pie, sir. Why are you only, like, the most satisfied? Status leaving. You know, if they told us the reason why they're unhappy. But at least we can try to put it right, you know. I'm gonna move this table. I'm gonna move it to there, so it's a bit out of the way. We've lost the chair by doing that, haven't we? Yeah. Probably should move it back to where it was. There we go. Have your chair back. I think that's okay. So a long table. Requires four level points. How far are we to level five? We're halfway there. Not doing too bad. Our keeper's not doing too bad. Again, those tips in. They're almost out of debt. <laughs> Hopefully we'll earn enough gold to stay out of debt when the salaries go out at the end of the day. Also, the staff cleanup as well, if you miss it. Good to know. Yeah, we'll, we'll uh, watch our spending for today. Keep it out for those tips. I wonder how big you can make the tavern, because this like area seems massive. I wonder if you can like really extend it like all the way up here. It'd be quite cool, wouldn't it? Oh, it looks like you can. Wow, that tavern would be massive, wouldn't it? Imagine getting to the point where you're trying to oversee all that. Oops, some tips. No, give me the tips. Nobody unhappy, but somebody a bit meh. But we made a profit today. We have some reputation we can spend. Three days left for bankruptcy. Uh oh, we need more tables. So, feast days, 400 reputation, food prices up 20%, drink prices up 30%, bartender salary minus 66%, with more waitress salary and a higher cook salary. However, oh, hang on, we got this one too. All costs minus 34%, useful vintages. Let's go for feast days, I think. That seems like a good one. Start. Get some more tables in. When we got enough money, we're going to buy some more tables. More customers. If we're expanding too slowly, and that's why we're going into debt, we're not serving enough people. Costs are spiraling. Ooh, we got a nice fresh pie ready for those hungry patrons. And it looks like we are now in spring, which is good. Cold winter is gone. Oh, we're in summer. Summer ends in three days. It's a very short summer. It's like the UK. <laughs> That's my e-speed plus 10%. Staff movement speed plus 15%. Good to know. Thank you. So how much are tables? 50 gold. Okay. Get another table in. We put it like behind here. I think that's still covered by everything, isn't it? Yeah. I nice should fit another table over there in the corner. We can afford that now. Uh, well, we put it there. Yeah, because we got four. Yeah, that's good. I think the two waitresses is still enough. But now the money's flying in. Yeah, we're not doing too bad now, are we? No bankruptcy for us. What if we need another one of those, though? Hard to, like, know when... The waitresses can't keep up. Is there something like obvious in here? Like that's our economy, customers. We have reasons why people are annoyed. Wait, are oh, waiting too long to order, and yeah, and the neutral ones are either here or there. Okay, now we know. Now we know. Yay, level five, two staff limit, and four points. But what are we going to do with those four points? We could unlock a long table. May have been a bad choice. We may, might have rushed that. But we will soon find out. So we're going to expand the inn. Because we now have the money. We're going to expand it this way. Now if we put a long table. Put a long table. There. That's covered by everything. 
Good, 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 good. To boost our customer levels. How many people can sit around a long table? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six compared to four. So it's an extra two. And only costs an extra 20 gold. So that's, that's good to have. We sell tables, I wonder. If we want to replace these two tables with one of these. There's four, five, six, seven. I'm saying that is eight. We're replacing eight seats with six. But they do take up less space. So if I were to move this one into the corner here. Four, five, six, seven. There's still more seats than that. But then, yeah, that does take up less space. Even though that's only five at the moment because of the kitchen. Granted. We could make another bedroom now. We have the money. Uh, we don't have enough for a bed. Yeah, we made a profit of 22 gold. We're no longer in debt. <laughs> now we're going to skip that. Two days left for bankruptcy. Ow. But we're making money. We are making some money. We'll buy a new bed. And then that we're going to earn a decent amount of gold off these two rooms. Who days the bankruptcy? Don't get that. How? We need to be making more than 144 gold a day. Otherwise, it's consider us, uh, considering us going into bankruptcy. Is that how it works? Tell me. Tell me. As soon as we can, we're going to put a bed in there. Don't be sleeping in the day. Come on now. It's the middle of the day, my friend. Ding, ding, da, 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 ding. Thank you for the tip. Now, why are you only partly satisfied? And you as well. I must know. Hopefully we get some people uh deep. We need the money. Aria the waitress is waiting for food producer to be available. But Okay, so maybe we're not quite keeping up with demand on the food. Because there's only two counters there. So if we make another counter, does that help? We put like ah. Can't put it there, can't put it there. Put it there. There we go. One, two, one, two. Yeah, that may help. We need to stop spending money. <laughs> Are we looking on time? I'm guessing when this gets all the way to the top, there's the end of the day. Want well, somebody sleeping on their brand new room? Outfitted with the ultimate in luxury. Here we have 200 gold. No longer in bank. Maybe we need to finish the day on a positive um, gold number. Maybe that's why it's sort of the bankruptcy thing is coming up. We finish the day after deductions, which is 144 on a positive number. Maybe that bankruptcy countdown thing will stop. So we made a profit of 163 gold. One day until season change. Can't afford any of those. But it's not mentioned bankruptcy, so I'll take that as a win. I'll take that as a win. So that covers all tables apart from this one. This covers all tables apart from this one. So between the two of them, though, the, all tables are covered. Enjoy your sleep. We're on day nine. And we're still on the feast. Ends by the end of the day. Hopefully it's enough. Oh, some nice tips there. Thank you very kindly. Oh, it tells you what they're doing. That's, that's good. Now, why are you leaving, sir? Who are in a neutral attitude. Oh, I like the little uh, bed making animation there. That's how you know it's been done. Touching all the tips for me. 
There's probably a better way of laying out this tavern to get more tables in. The fireplace is level 6. Increases food price and drink price within range. That'd, that'd be handy. Plus 6 level points though. Workload 89%. So they they are managing, so that's good. He's managing, so that's good. Bar, bartender's doing okay. Workload 9%, 10%. So the, the housekeeper doesn't have enough to do what they're saying there. But I'm thinking we buy another room. There we go. That gives us a little bit more to do, doesn't it? The salary is still 144 days. So I think as long as we have more than that when the day finishes, it'll stop threatening bankruptcy. <laughs> we upgrade these. So salary reduction, movement speed, and cleaning speed. The salary, re uh, salary reduction one seems quite cruel, doesn't it? End of day nine. We made a profit of 79.9 gold. And it is now... Falling leaves. So that gives us customer uh, movement speed of minus 26%, but increases the tip amount by 66%. That's, that's a lot. That's a massive amount. Food price 10%, drink price 15%. All sounds good. And we can also do this to increase our tips. Why not? I'll give it a go. See what, it, see what happens. Welcome to work, everybody. Whoever's humming, it's lovely. Well, these tables are nice, nicely lined up. These two are completely different, so can't be held to the same value. We could get rid of this table, though. Um, sorry. You lose all the progress. Wait, what progress? What does it mean, you will lose the progress? What does that mean? Don't get it. Progress for what? Do the tables level up if so many things are served on them? I'm confused. If anybody knows what that means, please let me know. Can I squeeze the long table in there? I can. Oh, but it loses quite a lot of the seats. Oh, that's not going to work, is it? Damn. Are you sure you want to demolish? You will lose the all. You will lose the all progress. No, I don't understand what that means. I mean, making the bed up seems pretty quick. I suppose if there was a massive amount of rooms to do, what would happen if we tried to build a bedroom on here? You have to build the room next to a tavern. Ah, okay. So we probably shouldn't have had this middle room. We probably should have had like a tavern corridor going up the middle and then rooms off the side. <laughs> Don't know if there's a way of doing that after the fact. Oh, it seems like there might be actually. You're placing a room on top of another room. This will demolish the room below with its objects. No. Because we'd, we'd want to sell the bed first ideally, wouldn't we? Like, do they level up by themselves? I don't think they would. So if we demolish, yes, the progress thing is, like, does this do itself? It can't do, can it? Unless it's just warning you that if you had upgraded it, then you would lose the progress. That, that makes more sense. If we turn this into a tavern room, yes, and then this into a tavern room, and then we have bedroom there, bedroom there, bed... And then, oh, we run out of money. Oh, we need to make some money back now. <laughs> 140 a day, so wages have gone down a bit. This makes more sense. But we're not going to buy another bed unless we have enough to cover the salary for the day. Otherwise, it's going to show bankruptcy at this again. Okay, end of day 10. Eight minus 
But thank you very much for watching. What did you think of the game? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to hit the like button and subscribe if you're not already, as over 90% or 95% of people who watch the videos aren't subscribed. So if you could, I'm hoping to get a 500 subs before the end of the year. So it would be very much appreciated if you could. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.